I'm here at bed in South Beach, where dancing and dining mix with performance art, literally. Let's meet the one that makes it all happen. Located on Washington Avenue in South Beach, Club Bed is an eclectic mix of elegance and partying. But they wanted to create a unique experience for all their patrons, so they hired Cuban-born painter Kiki Valdez to create his artwork as droves of club goers dance around him. So Kiki, tell us a little bit, why did you choose Bed? Well, actually, I approached um, one of the promoters because they were gonna do a New Year's party, and so I just approached them for that. They liked what I did, and they, they just, they wanted me every week. Kiki gets his inspiration from many things, and the energy created by a packed dance floor is certainly one of them. People in Miami tend to be very surprised when they see me paint. They're like, I've never seen that before. I'm not the first person that's done this, but it lets me know that I'm bringing this to the mainstream, and I'm bringing something new to the table for art in the 21st century. The son of Cuban refugees, Kiki grew up in Miami, where his artistic sense was cultivated from his multicultural surroundings. When I grew up, I, I had Haitian friends, I had Jamaican friends, I had Cuban friends, I had Puerto Rican friends, I had Jewish friends. So it was all these different people, so I was exposed to that. The people that I grew up with were great artists. The thing is that they all moved to New York. But it lets me know that Miami's a breeding ground for great artists. Miami might not be known for its great art, but Kiki is looking to change that. There isn't an art scene and people always complain about it, but I think it's a responsibility of the artist to not complain about it and actually make it happen. I decided to step up to the plate and try to create uh, somewhat of an identity for, for Miami art and I guess I would call it like the new renaissance. We can't be spectators and sit and complain. We have to be the innovators. We have to set the standards. We have to go out and make it happen. And that's what I'm doing. Your themes are live, death. Live. What do you want to project? I use my subconscious. I don't necessarily say this is what I'm going to do. It's almost like dreaming and painting. You're letting your, yourself dream and you paint it. What inspired you to paint this one? Well, I would have to say a certain girl scarred me and I was infatuated with this girl. She's my muse, actually. She's a girl that I would put in all my paintings. Really? For a long time. And for some reason, when they walked out on me, I just thought of Medusa. Because from a distance, Medusa looks like this beautiful person, but the, as they get closer and closer, she makes them into stone with her stare. And this girl has a very particular stare that is very, can almost make your heart cold. What else? Inspires me. Exactly. Just living. Um, what are we here for? What are we gonna do? How are we gonna be remembered? What's our mission? I don't paint just to paint. I paint because I wanna do something in this world. I'm gonna create change in some way or another. I don't know how, but I'm going to. How do you think people perceive your work? I would say I inspire a lot of people. See, with me, I care about what the masses think. I care about what everybody thinks. I, ca I care about what my grandmother thinks. I care about what the guy across the street that can hardly read things. I, I care about what everybody thinks. The word is out on Club Bed and Kiki Valdez's art shows. Some of the Marlin Mermaids stopped by to join Kathy and check it out, as did local rap artist Pitbull. And this validation is important because it shows that Kiki is indeed connecting with his audience. When you're young, you want to be a cartoonist or something, but I just realized I was better expressing myself through personal experience and emotion. We live a story whether we want it or not, or want to believe it or not. So I, I, see, I see my life and other people's life as stories. I'm just doing each chapter, the paintings for each chapter of my life.